Hey, how's it going? My name's Doug, and I'm with the Sorry Gaming Network. It's about 3 in the morning, and uh, I'm really juiced up. I'm really pumped. Uh, I decided to go to the gym at like 11.45 at night, and I'm just fucking energetic. And I said, you know what? I'm going to start a new segment, and it's going to be about like, I'm just going to talk about bullshit related to video games, and I'm going to introduce like new segments and like things that are coming from my channel, because I never upload that often because I'm a working man. And that's really all I do. Like, this is my home. This is my home, and I hardly ever see it. So, uh, just going to be throwing that out there. Uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and start. Uh, if you can smell me through this, I'm really sorry. But I bet you like that kind of thing. Anyways, I digress. We're going to be talking about video games. And one segment I would kind of want to go ahead and start at, um, on the Sorry Gaming Network, in which I'm going to be whoring myself out a little bit. I'm going to be putting these vlogs, uh, you know, sound offs, whatever you want to call them, uh, on both my channels. I have the Sorry Gaming Network uh, along with Terabytes. Um, they're both going to be going to each channel, and uh, sometimes they're going to be ex some that are exclusive, uh, just for the sheer fact that some of them might not even apply. Uh, I do have a horror segment coming up, uh, where I'm actually going to be talking about horror movies uh, in general, you know, just like things that are macabre, and I'm, I'm not like a goth kid or anything. Uh, a lot of my friends like to call me a hipster, but I think, you know, that's, that's too mainstream. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm like totally out of it, so just bear with me. Uh, one thing that I do want to introduce is um, I used to have like a huge like love for everything Japanese, and that was back in high school. And uh, I'm gonna get into how like I'm a jaded old man now. I've been out of high school for a while now. And I'm just really sad. Just really, really sad and old. <laughs> I need to quit doing that. It's going to get annoying here in a minute. If I'm not annoying you already. Um, but I used to have like a really big like love and like fascination for like everything Japanese. And I fell out of it. Like, you know, it just all like started kind of becoming like the same cliche thing. Like a spiky hast dude walks in, he's like, my village just got burned down, and I think I'm in love with you, and this girl's like, well, you know what, like, I have a crystal, and I'm the only one that can save the world, and I need you to, like, hack up a bunch of monsters, and we're gonna, like, form this love triangle, and we're gonna, like, split up at the end, and it's gonna be, like, really bittersweet, but you're gonna have some, like, really bitching weapons at, like, level 99, uh, and it was kinda like that, kinda, like, fell in that same mold, uh, but... I'm starting to like kind of like fall back into like Japanese gaming and like I just kind of keep buying them. I keep, you know, like whatever I see. I'm like, oh, it looks pretty interesting. It's just because I'm a jaded old man and uh, I'm starting to like long for like the past. Uh, so I'm going to start doing like, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Uh, you know, over the like October and, uh, like November, um, my wife and I we celebrate big during the holidays, and uh, you know I put on you know a little bit of weight. I'm not like fat, but you know I, I gained some love, beer, and uh, you know turkey, and candy, and beer. But you know I've really cut back on my drinking. I really have a lot, but uh, yeah. So that's the reason I got my fat ass to the gym tonight. Um, so <laughs> trying to work that off because I got a really big Christmas party coming up too, and I'm gonna just be a big fat fuck. Um, so going to the Japanese, and I, I think I kind of want to like title it like "Fat Man in Japan," but 
you know, I'm really not that fat. You know, I'm like somewhat chubby man in Japan, you know. So I don't think it's going to work. So maybe like lonely man in Japan or, you know, white man in Japan. That's racist. That's just, and if you think that's funny, then fuck you. Because you're a racist. And we all, we all are. I mean, I'm, I hate white people. Uh, anyways, I don't know what I'm going to call it, but it's going to have like a little, kind of a funny title. And, uh, my wife kind of likes to like get a kick after like watch me play games. And I'll show you like one, like the one she just recently bought, which by the way, she's like really pissed that she bought it. Uh, And I'm going to show you guys like a list of everything I'm doing. Uh, she just picked up Kingdom Hearts, the uh, you know the HD remastered version. Not too happy about it because uh, you know she went into it expecting like you know because like she didn't really she's not big on handhelds, uh, so she went into it kind of thinking like oh hey I'm going to get this and I'm finally going to be able to play like three five eight three five eight over two days. Uh, and, you know, playing in HD, well, it turns out she started playing it, and it wasn't that, it was the cutscene, so she was a little bit upset about it, she was like, I paid, like, fucking 40 bucks for this, and, and then, like, for Black Friday, it went down to, like, 20, and that only made it worse, so, yeah, uh, Kingdom Hearts, my wife, my wife hates you right now, uh, she also said, like, you know, like, the 2.5 HD remix, she's not gonna worry about it until it's, like, 20 bucks. So, um, that's, uh, one thing. Now, the reason I said that is, like, she kind of gets a kick out of me, like, watching me play, like, Japanese games, because I really just fell out of them, and, like, you know, I've been, like, Western, like, all the way. Um, so, uh, whenever I get into them, you know, it's just like, Riku, you need to grab the Keyblade and go, like, free sorry. And sorry, sorry. And uh, well, it's not even Riku. It's like Sora. And so yeah, that's how I'm like I'm like playing. I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? Why are they eating popsicles? Why is Mickey hanging out with Cloud? So I don't really get it, you know. And I, I feel like. You know, a total ass, because you know I've known about the game, and I, I mean I've seen the game. My wife, before she was my wife, I watched her play through it, um, and it is a pretty cool game to like watch. But like playing this is like a whole different story. Like I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, and that's not like I'm like a first-person shooter fan. If y'all like see my videos, like you know I, I try to, you know, I'm a hipster, so I try to like go for the more obscure titles. Uh, not really, like, obscure, but, you know, like, I'm not the kind of guy that, like, goes out, and I guess it's, like, kind of, like, a way for you to get to know me. You're probably not gonna watch this video, because nobody likes me. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, just kind of throwing that out there. I'm not the kind of guy that, like, you know, just plays, like, first-person shooters. I hate online gameplay, uh, and that's just because I'm kind of an ass, and I don't like sharing my games, you know, like, I don't like getting into a game, and I'm like, oh man, it's like really intense, the grab, and like, it's just so, it's so good, like, you know, I'm into it, and then somebody's like, your mom sucked my dick last night, I'm done, I don't want to play anymore, I don't want to do it, um, so, uh, not a big online player, not a, like, a, and I like first person shooters, don't get me wrong, I fucking love first person shooters, uh, but I've kind of, like, gone away from my roots, uh, and I, like, really forgot, like, where I came from, because, like, I used to, like, exclusively play Japanese games, because back whenever I was growing up, Japanese games were, like, the only good games. And just to give you an idea how old I am, I'm not, like, old. Don't worry. I'm 26, going on 27. Uh, so, um, I've definitely seen, like, you know, Japanese games in their prime back, like, whenever they are like, really strong, really good. Uh, I remember being like a kid and seeing like Final Fantasy 7, like the commercial for it. And, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, Final Fantasy 7, like everybody's like played that and everybody wants to like call that like the pivotal JRPG. I don't give a fuck. It's awesome, you know, and I actually just downloaded it on Steam during their 
December sale for like three ninety nine, and I own like two copies now. I own three. Um, you know, it's one of the best games like of all time, and I really feel like that's that was Japanese gaming at its prime. Like you know, like like the PS two era and everything. You know, they were pretty strong. And then, like, Next Gen hit, and it was just like, they had no idea, like, where the fuck they were going. But I really feel like, you know, they're really starting to get, like, a hang of it again. And, uh, you know, there's, like, definitely some obscure titles coming out, and, uh, really, I need your all's help. And, uh, this isn't, like, beginning, like, the touch, like, what games I have. Like, um, I was laughing with my wife, because, like, I was counting my PS3 games the other day, and I was just, like, we have, like, 70 PS3 games, and I was like, it doesn't even look like we have that much. So, on top of, like, the PS3 games I have, I have, like, a shit ton of Xbox games. I have a sh- I don't really have that many Wii games. I definitely don't have that many Wii U games. I mean, but I have, like, a shit ton of, like, PS3 games, and, like, PlayStation games, like, a sh- and, like... I basically have a fortune in games, like especially like the vintage, like black label, like PlayStation copies. Uh, so I have a ton of like J games, you know. That you know, if you all have an idea of like anything you all want me to play, let me know, and I'll add it to that segment. And like, really, it's just kind of like me, like kind of like reliving it and like getting like attached again. On top of that, it's just like me making an ass out of myself because I have no idea like what the fuck I'm doing half the time. Uh, just then I just saw these, you know, like I said, like, I'm not just, they were sitting on my shelf, like, out in the open, and I have, like, an office that's fucked right now, because we just have so much shit, uh, we haven't been living here too long, uh, so, I have a ton of other games, uh, but these are just, like, ones that I grab right off the back, and ones that I seem interested in, like, some I just recently picked up, uh, that I've been wanting to play for a while because they seem like really unique. Um, but if you want to see me play them, you know, definitely like comment, you know, message me, do something, and let me know what you want to play. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea, uh, we have Catherine, which I actually just picked up the other day from my G2K G two K games. God, I don't know what the hell happened there. Uh, just picked that up. And I've been wanting it for a while, and then, like, my wife, you know, I were like, she was like, just grab the damn game, it's 14 bucks. Uh, so, I was kind of, like, being a big, because, like, they had the Xbox copy there for a while, and I was like, I don't want it for the Xbox. So, I'm not, I'm not, like, anti-Xbox, that's what you're thinking. But I do like my PlayStation 3 a little bit better. Uh, even though I've been playing my Wii U a lot here lately. Um, uh, so that's, you know... A, an idea, a choice, uh, and I'm just trying to like, you know, like find like really like games that are like kind of like bonkers. Uh, with that, we have a uh, lollipop chainsaw, so I throwing that one out there too. And you know, I'm not saying I haven't played these games, but I have played like some of this game. Uh, I haven't played anything of Catherine, so I have no idea what I'm getting into with that. Um, lollipop chainsaw, really cool game, and I love Suda 51. Well, he's kind of hit or miss. Uh, some of it's like shit, and some of it's, like, really good, um, game that I actually picked up for my wife, and she just started playing, uh, Resonance of Fate, uh, so, and, like, I, I saw her, like, her play a little bit of it, and I was like, holy shit, like, this reminds me of, like, you know, old RPGs and everything, like, I love that, uh, a game that I've just, like, I wanted for a while, and I feel like an ass, because my wife finally got it for me, like, last Christmas, and I just didn't play it, but it, I mean, I, I, I could tell, like, I would, like, really enjoy it, uh, is, a uh, Yakuza Dead Souls, uh, it kind of has that, like, whole House of the Dead Resident Evil feel to it, uh, so, you know, that's, it just seems so, like, wacky and gonzo, and, uh, we have, uh, Anarchy Reigns right here, uh, and I, I have played probably, like, a quarter of it, um, so, that's that's always a good one. I'm a huge Platinum Games fan, which, you know, I hit, I have, oh shit, I didn't hit my laptop, that might have been loud. Uh, I have beaten this, so if you want me to play it again, Metal Gear Solid, Rising, Platinum Games again. I'm a huge Platinum Games fan. Um, I forgot to bring Bayonetta over here. Uh, friggin' love 
Bayonetta. Uh, Devil May Cry, all of it. Um, which brings me, well, avoiding Platinum Games, I have another Suda 51 game, and this by far is like one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, I'm about 75, 80% done with it, and I don't know why I put it down. Uh, but I'd love to play through it again. Shadows of the Damned is like an incredible game. It's just so like, what the hell is going on? Uh, so let's see here. Do I have anything else? Deadly Premonition. This is the PS3 version. Uh, whenever I reserved it, like I was like one of two people that actually reserved it at GameStop. So just throwing that out there as well. Uh, we have Dragon's Dogma. And I fucking love Dragon's Dogma. Like, I love this game. Uh, just a few choices. And, you know, like I said, I have, like, way, 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 way more games. Uh, so if you can, like, think of anything, or, like, if you can just, like, if I don't have it, you know, and it does seem, like, pretty interesting, like, you know, like, drop me a line, you know, and I'll look it up. If I can find it, like, cheap on Amazon or something, you know, I'll definitely pick it up and... You know, I won't tell my wife. I'll say, like, oh, honey, like, I just got this in the mail. I wanted it as a gift, and it was from, like, 1985. But, so we'll say something like that. No big deal. Uh, so, yeah, like, really, I'm trying to get, like, connected to it again. And that's because, like, you know, I feel like Japanese games, they can kind of give you that different experience. You know, it's, uh, I, I bitched, you know, about, like, how they're all the same but uh i really feel like they're starting to like break out of that shell and like you know take a chance like i think they realized you know we're going to have to like do our thing you know trying to please everybody else uh which brings to full surface of why i'm a i'm a jaded old man like i'm just like, it all started probably about, like, five months ago, and, like, my good friend of mine, in fact, like, I have a few good friends of mine, but, like, one in particular, uh, it's whenever The Last of Us came out. Um, I just, I didn't like it. <laughs> I did not like The Last of Us, and a lot of people got pissed about that. Um, and, I, I mean, I feel terrible that I didn't like it, because, like, it was a game that, like, you know, I was, like, frothing out the mouth again, and I picked it up, and I didn't like it. the beat all is I played through the majority of it and it's kind of like I played the majority of it and then I just realized it wasn't for me and uh I think it's like modern gaming it's like falling into like one big convention and we can't escape it you know it's every game that you pick up it's it's always going to be the same game just with prettier graphics and I, I hate that I hate that like we live in a generation where specs overshadow gameplay. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm 26 years old, not old by any means, but I lived in a day and age of Nintendo, and you didn't have graphics like that. You didn't have the kind of stuff at your disposal. So really, like, developers had to use, like, innovation. Uh, and they had to, you know, really think outside the box. And I'm not saying that, like, no developer does. Because they do. Uh, but it kind of saddens me at the same time. You know, it's just... Uh, I, I just feel like... We, we've seen it all. And, like, nobody's, like, really afraid to, like, break out of the box. And, you know, I understand that, like, it's like a full-fledged corporate industry now. And these companies are trying to make money and they're afraid to like kind of step out those boundaries and that's what kind of like upset me about the last of us you know like you could say it was different but was it really like i've seen the road so i've kind of seen the last of us with like fungus zombies um and i it reminded me of like uncharted's gameplay and everything you know it's it's tight gameplay but nothing outside the box like every game is a sequel now um so I guess, like, I've been, like, just really, like, going back to, like, old games, too. Like, you know, a lot of my friends have come over and, like, what the hell are you doing playing that game? Like, dude, that came out, like, five years ago. And I'm, like, yeah. And I was, like, and for some strange reason, five years ago, it's better than the shit we have now. Um, 
so I'm a little bit jaded, and, and probably I'm a little more unfair than I should be. But that's just how I feel. Um, Bioshock Infinite, for example, you know, I I liked it. I didn't love it, but I I hated the fact that it just I felt like I've been there before. You know, Columbia is a gorgeous place, but. I've been there before. I mean, you gotta just understand. Um, I'm a I'm a pissy guy, so it's you know, and anybody to tell you like, I'm hard to please, and I hate that about me because uh, you know I wish I could just like you know pick up a game like Halo and be like this is fucking awesome, you know. And at one point, yeah, I I used to be that way, but I I can't do that anymore. You know, it's I get older and I get grumpier. Uh, but, and that's really why I'm trying to, like, reach out. And so, like, you know, and I've kind of, like, fell in love with, like, PC gaming here lately. And I never was, like, a big PC gamer. But, like, PC gaming, like, I've been able to, like, find a whole lot of different experiences. And, you know, just recently I've been able to get, like, a laptop where I can, like, thoroughly enjoy these games. No problem. Uh, be able to play, like, you know, really graphically intensive games without slowing down my computer. Um... You know, it, I'm gonna get on the like survival horror because like I kind of feel the same way about survival horror. It, it's just sad to like see it go down like the road it's gone down. Um, that'll be in like my next episode. Uh, and that's really, I mean, that's really about it. Which I mean, as far as like next gen gaming, I feel like we're following the same trend. Like it's all like social media and television and. I am excited about Killzone Shadowfall, and that's, that's, <laughs> I feel like a hypocrite, because, like, I love Killzone, and it's, like, the same damn game over and over, but I do want a PS4, I do want an Xbox One also, um, so, with that, you know, I'm gonna bid you guys, like, an adios, uh, I'm really glad that you all tuned in, if you did tune in, uh, make sure that you subscribe, uh, you know, if you're watching this on the Sorry Gaming Network, TSGN, or terabytes, you know, it's just youtube.com slash sorry gaming network, youtube.com slash terabytes TSGN. Yeah, terabytes TSGN. Uh, it's it's all one thing. We have a Facebook group, so you know, feel free to join it. We we have about like 104 members. We're all pretty active. We all post. We all, you know, we all do our parts. Uh, so definitely check it out. I hope that you enjoyed having like a you know I feel I, I would like to think that we're having like a one on one right now and so post in the comments because you know I love talking, I love open discussion, you know, even if it's like a friendly debate. And please like if you don't agree with anything I say, let's try to keep it to a friendly debate because I would like respect you the same way. Um uh, unless you don't like me then well that's not very nice. <laughs> Anyways guys have a good night uh subscribe you know like do whatever you want uh